AITA for my husband's aunt's tree being cut down? My husband rented his aunt's home before we got married. He signed a month-to-month -month lease when he moved in. I moved in with him after our marriage because the rent was super cheap. My parents recently came to me asking if they could park their RV at our home. I didn't see a problem with this. Our yards are really big and there is space. Because of city ordinance the RV has to be parked in the backyard. There was no RV gate in the fence. My husband went to his aunt and asked if we could install a RV gate. His aunt said no. My husband relayed the message to me and my parents seemed upset when I told them. Two days ago, I came home from work and saw that my dad had a construction crew at our home and had removed part of the fence for the gate. There was a apple tree in the way. They couldn't fit the RV in the yard. My husband angry told my dad not to continue and that they needed to repair the fence. At this point, I felt like it was pointless. The fence guys already built the columns for the gate. It would cost a lot more money to rebuild the fence. I told my dad to finish the job but make sure it was left super clean. That it looked nice. I planned on talking to the aunt later and explain what happened. What I didn't know was my dad told the guys to remove the tree. My husband's aunt came by and saw the tree cut down and started to cry. She has refused to talk to my dad or me. When my husband came home he found a 30-day notice on our door, terminating our lease. He tried to call his aunt and she didn't answer the phone. He then called my mill and she went to talk to our aunt. Later I got several messages calling me an A for cutting down the aunt's late husband's tree. I had no idea he planted the tree. Now my husband and his whole family are really angry at me. I never told them to remove the tree. I feel like I am being thrown under the bus here. Am I the A here? You and your dad YTA. You rent someone's house and ask to make permanent alterations and or refuse. Then you go ahead anyway and cut down their tree to make it more convenient? I would throw you out too. YTA. She said no. Why do your parents have an RV that they have no room for? Why did your father even think any of this was appropriate? Let me reiterate she said no. YTA. The aunt said no. Doing something against her wishes and asking for forgiveness later isn't the adult thing to do. And you're going to find out she might not forgive. When you saw what was going on you should have stopped it. Your dad never should have started doing anything and both of you should have listened to your husband and his aunt. Your dad. And probably you and your husband as the renters might found out how expensive it is to replace a fully grown tree and about tree law and let me tell you it's going to be a lot more than two thousand dollars yta for letting it continue when your husband said no the aunt said no to the gate and no is a complete sentence your parents removed a tree from a yard they do not own how stupid and selfish of them Everyone is the ah besides your husband, his aunt and family. The aunt can hire a lawyer and sue your parents and the company who did it without her permission. And honestly I hope she does. YTA. You are such tall I'm a bit speechless you thought to post this. Here's my main sticking point. You asked. She said no. My husband angry told my dad not to continue and that they needed to repair the fence. At this point I felt like it was pointless. The fence guys already built the columns for the gate. It would cost a lot more money to rebuild the fence. I told my dad to finish the job but make sure it was left super clean. Who are you married to? Your father or your husband? Why did you not put your foot down with your father? I'm just sorry that your husband has to share the consequences to this. Edited to add tree law. YTA. Your father is an inconsiderate and self-centered asshole and it seems the apple didn't fall far from the tree. YTA. 
None of this is fair to your aunt. And it doesn't matter if the tree was a random tree growing on her property or had a special meaning. You broke the lease and caused her damages and I would expect to be sued for the loss if I were you. I kinda feel bad for your husband. First, his in-laws stomped on his and his aunt's boundaries and ignored a no to their request then. You told your dad to finish the job, but have the audacity to be shocked Pikachu face BC your dad. Had the tree cut down to fit his RV which the owner of the rental had said no to storing on her property. Like, I would be seriously thinking about if I wanted to be tied to people who disregarded my landlord's refusal to be a storage unit and destroyed her property. I'm betting that the fact that the landlord is your husband's family may have made you and your father not bothered about the vandalism and destruction of property that he had done and you had authorized. YTA. Your impending homelessness is your fault and your father's fault. I don't blame your husband and his family for being royally pissed off at you and your entitled father. Disgusting lack of respect for someone else's property. UGHZ. OMG what is wrong with you and your family? Your dad brings in someone to do work on property he doesn't own? Your husband tells him to stop and then you tell him to continue? WTF? Yes YTA a major one. And you seem to think you're not an a-hole because you didn't know the history of the tree? Terrible renters is an understatement. If I were the ante would press charges. Edited for spelling, grammar. YTA. Not as bad as your dad. Who felt that his desires trump your landlord's express refusal. But still ta. When you found your dad doing unsanctioned work at your house. The correct answer was not. Oh well. Might as well finish it now. It was. No. Stop. What the heck were you thinking? Put it back. Oh. That'll be expensive? Should have thought about that before you started destroying stuff at my rental. Quote. Now your auntie law has lost something deeply meaningful to her. And it's your fault for letting your dad run wild in a place that was your responsibility. The consequences you're experiencing are more than justified. Hashtag YTA. YTA. And YTA. The aunt did you and your husband a favor by renting out her house at a super cheap price. Your words. She was actually losing out money to help family. What did you do to repay her? 1. You ignored the fact that your dad completely disregarded the aunt's refusal and actually sided with him on destroying her property. Yes. The D at MN fence is her property and she said no. 2. You failed to monitor your dad and he went on to destroy another one of the aunt's property. The apple tree that her husband planted. It has a great sentimental value and definitely hurt her more than the fence. 3. You absolutely feel no remorse for your ignorance and your father's entitled behaviors and just feel you are being thrown under the bus because the aunt refused to continue doing her favor. After how you and your dad treated her and her properties. You bite the hands that feed you and now you have your consequences. And this is all over parking AD at MNRV. How cheap are you people? My husband angry told my dad not to continue and that they needed to repair the fence. You and your dad also disrespected your husband's wish and managed to make him lose his accommodation during the process of disrespecting the aunt. Way to go up. Yes YTA and I'll explain why. You were aware the aunt did not want the gate and instead of siding with your husband and stop your father and the crew you told them to finish the job cause you felt it would cost more to rebuild the fence. This was not your property. It was not your call and if it was to cost more so be it cause they had no business to build an RV. Yate at someone else's property against the owner's wishes to begin with. So no by allowing it to happen you're also an awe but your father is a huge one. 
YTA. Why would your parents think they have the authority to come into town and wreck your the ants? Fence? I'm going to guess and say you either didn't tell them they couldn't or you told them to just go ahead anyway. Just like you told your dad to just finish the gate instead of paying so much more to repair the fence. Your husband and his whole family is understandably mad at you. I doubt your husband will even want to stay with you after this. ETA. I see now op said she told her parents the answer was no on the gate. But I'd still like to know where her parents got the audacity. YTA. You are a renter not the homeowner. Your aunt said no. Your dad had no right to put the gate or cut down her tree. You not telling him to stop immediately and put it back was wrong. I hope she sues both of you. YTA. Obviously and hugely. Everybody else already told you that. However, if the felled tree is still there and still has live branches on it, you might be able to take some cuttings and make clones for your husband's aunt. Is won't save you from getting evicted or from other consequences. But it might be a good start for showing contrition. The tree appreciation sub art marijuana enthusiasts. Yes, really, can provide more instruction on taking and rooting fruit tree cuttings and give you an idea of what the law thinks of your liability for the tree. YTA I think what makes you the biggest awe is despite people explaining why it's wrong you still don't get what a bug deal this is. The compromise is that she isn't suing your family and the company did this. Like fence aside do you have any idea how much a fully grown apple tree if my husband did this and continued to act like it was no big deal I'd seriously consider a divorce. And I do get your side. I rent from family and I couldn't afford to live elsewhere. Oh my freaking god. Your dad is an epic asshole and YTA for not shutting him down the second you caught him. I do not blame your husband's aunt one bit for evicting you. I'd have done the same. Your dad is mostly the a-hole. He started the gate. Plus he ordered the tree to be removed. But, why didn't you stop all of this as soon as you realized what was happening? You are the point of contact for your side of the family. So they blame you. You are going to have to own this one. YTA. I never told them to remove the tree. You kind of did. I told my dad to finish the job but make sure it was left super clean. You knew that removing the tree was part of the job. Your husband's aunt said no to putting in a RV gate. Why didn't you stop your father immediately? YTA. YTA. You asked the owner. The owner declined. Your dad proceeded to do it anyways. Your husband told him to stop and correct the thing the owner told you not to do. But you told your father to finish it anyway. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.